reach out to your teammate and make sure they have connected. All right, so uh, my name is Ambassador Pastor Brian Diko, uh, the Success Priest. All right, so I'll be sharing my testimony briefly and then we continue. I'm a social entrepreneur. I'm a retired professional accountant. I finished from AB Uzaria uh, some I think five years ago. Yeah, and then I got qualified while I was serving as a chartered accountant. And then, you know, hoping I was very young, life was on my side, uh, age was on my side. And I, they said, go to school. I went to school, uh, got a, a professional certificate. I was ready that this certificate will give me the life that I'm looking for. But unfortunately, it didn't happen. And I saw myself, you know, living the life of my father. And honestly, he tried for us, but it's not the life I wanted to live. So I started looking for ways uh, to be successful, legit ways. Okay, so uh, I doubled into the world of business, but there was no coaching, there was no mentorship. Uh, we are just doing trial and error, and God helped me. I made a lot of money. But September of 2009, I can never forget that day, I lost over 20 million naira through scammers. Okay, so I don't want to go into the details of that, but I lost 20 million. All right, and that was why I, that was how, how I saw myself. I saw myself um, crashing. You know, I saw myself moving from grace to grass within a twinkling of an eye. And that was when the second phase of my struggle started. And then at that point, God asked me to serve him, that if I serve him, he is going to restore whatsoever I've lost. So that was what gave birth to Manifestation International Christian Center 13 years ago. And when we started the church, the church came with a lot of issues, you know, uh, church land, church building, church people, my family. And honestly, feeding became a challenge. Accommodation became an issue. School fees became an issue. Uh, because of that pressure, my blood pressure went up. Okay. And uh, along the line, I started praying. Couldn't pay house rent. So I had to move to my church office and then started sleeping there. And then move my family to one of our, my Dickness's house. So I was literally sleeping in church. December of 2017, I did my Christmas in my church office. Uh, January 2018, still there praying. February 17th, you know, every night I'll be weeping and then I'll be crying. And then I'll be asking God, what could I have done wrong? Where did I miss it? So to me, to me, um, this opportunity came as an answer to my almost three months of prayers. Honestly, and that's why I don't joke with it. So God came through for me, and one of my spiritual daughters sent me an invitation, and that was how I attended on the 17th of February, 2018. And I saw this amazing, amazing opportunity. Now, I wasn't asking question about when, how, um, I mean, uh, the question was not, do I want to start? The question was, why didn't I see this opportunity two or three years earlier? While some of you are struggling to, do, to come on board and to do this business, that was not my experience. My experience, I was angry with myself that I would have seen this opportunity a year before that day or two years before that day. So God has to start calming me down and say, oh boy, calm down, you know, this is the time for you. And that's why um, you are invited. So I wasn't having money. I borrowed money to transport myself from my house to Gudu. So of course I was broke. I was as broke as broke can be. So, but there was two options to either walk out and say, I don't have money, which was the truth, or to look for the money and change my life. The second option sounded better. So I called some few friends and I was lucky. Luck was on my side. A friend sent, borrowed me 50,000. And that was how I was able to secure my mastermind slot. Uh, actually, it was Ambassador Dr. Elijah Mba, a mastermind that was presenting. 
So I secured my mastermind slot and then immediately we started. And then he told me that, Pastor Diko, if you are ready, between now and the next 12 months, you are going to have a 180 degrees turnaround. I look at his successes. I look at where I am. I said, okay, let's go. So I submitted wholly to him. This was me before I joined this organization. Senior pastor, a professional accountant, but broke. You can see the suits. You know, that's about 5,000, 7,000 naira suits. And just about two years after I joined, that's me on the right-hand side, after. You know, that's about 100,000 naira suits. In less than a year, my life was completely transformed. Listen to me. Everything my mastermind, our mastermind has told me has happened just exactly how he said it. Why? Because I was following. He was following me back to back, you know, closely mentoring me. And in less than a year, I got qualified. He told me, Pastor Diko, we're going to be traveling for an all excellences paid vacation. And this was me on my way to the Philippines. In less than a year, all expenses paid. This was my first time of entering the plane. Somebody go to the child handle and say, may God punish poverty. I was already 46 years old and I have never traveled by air, unfortunately. This poverty, eh? So that was how God helped me. And then I saw myself for the first time, you needed to see how I was behaving when we were about taking off, all right? We went to the Philippines, man, had an amazing time. Please take a look at my plate. I didn't joke with this, you know? And because of then, my poverty mentality, <laughs> some of us were carrying food, food, snacks, and then stocking it into our pockets, you know, not knowing that we will not need the food, okay? So I had an amazing time, started eating food like this. Three days after, this was the first day we landed Manila, three days, see, Bobo don't change. You know, who told you money is not good? Who told you you're ugly? You have not seen some depth of money. When some depth of money hits you, you know, that ugly guy, that ugly lady becomes a very pretty person. And, let's, and the last five days we spent it in Bataan, amazing place. I had an amazing experience, you know. And this is my mastermind working with me. Thank you so much, sir. You know, this was like 20, 20, 2019. I'm sure uh, Mastermind will just be laughing. Yes. So he was working. He was, you know, he was working with me, calling me, you know, mentoring me back to back. And in less than six months, I saw my business peaked and I submitted to mentorship. When you say, Pastor Diko, jump, I'll say, sir, how many times? And then I'm ready to do the jump. That's Dr. Alita, you know, in the middle, uh, you know, Ambassador Dr. Alita, amazing, amazing time. Submitted myself to mentorship. My, my, our mastermind started working with me. I was so fortunate when our mastermind was ready to start building his team all over again. I was the first person that came up. And then, so I had that privilege to start the new phase of the Phenom business. And then he started working with me, started working with me. And before you know it, it worked. He followed me to so many places. I was looking for that picture with Snap in Eket. You know, I have to drag our master, my ambassador, Dr. Elijah Mbad, to Eket. You know, him, Calaba, everywhere, uh, Akwanga, Lafia, we are just there holding even back to back. And honestly, in just about six months, my financial fortune turned around. In less than a year, we are selected among the top 100 highest income earners in just less than a year. That's myself on the left. That's Dr. John, Ambassador Dr. John. That's Ambassador Dr. Alita. That's Dr. Ruth, Amazon Ambassador. And that's our G8 leader, Ambassador, uh, I mean, Architect Moses Onu. In less than a year, you know, most of us were not up to a year here. And we are selected through his mentorship and coaching. We are selected among us, among the top 100, top 100 highest income. And I like Dr. John was just some few months then, even uh, our G8 leader, uh, Ambassador Architect Moses Onum, 
Dr. Ruth, Dr. Alita, most of them less than a year, some eight months, some seven months, and true tenacity and consistency and close monitoring, you know, we just shifted. And that has been our journey to today. As a result of that mentorship, just about 10 months, I was able to get this car for my wife. I got the second car. And by the grace of God, that was our church before I joined. And this is our church today, completely transformed. And by the grace of God, we are working on this already. We call this the Cathedral of Health. You know, someone helped me. And we are in a, in a health organization. So already we've started working on this as a result of this amazing opportunity. If you are just if you are just dragging your feet with this business, so sorry for you. And God has helped me. I've been able to raise some leaders. That's my wife, I'm, uh, Dr. J I mean, uh, Pastor Mrs. Janet Dico. And then we have, I have these amazing people that God has helped me to also raise in this business. And that was Lagos, uh, 20, uh, early 2019 where I, I was celebrated as a, as a, as a gold, I mean, gold executive and then a millionaire cycle world stage. And by the grace of God, also celebrated as a global ambassador uh, prime uh, in this business, okay? And also got a lot of awards, a lot of awards from this organization. Kossi, I owe everything that I am today to God and to our mastermind and to all our masterminds Thank you so much, and to all our G leaders, and particularly my G leader, uh, the Ambassador Dr. Emelda, thank you so much for all that you are doing and all that you are doing for humanity. I celebrate it. I wouldn't have been here without all these great men. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And, you know, this is us, uh, you know, several years ago, I have to go to the archives uh, and get and get this uh, amazing, amazing picture. These guys made my life happen. Thank you. I appreciate you a lot. Now, some of you are already asking, this is another pastor that has backslidden. He's portraying after money. I'm still pastoring. Okay, that picture you are seeing, that, I mean, why that's me, it was just yesterday. That's our Thanksgiving service. I held two services yesterday, powerful services. That's our church, very, very successful. God has blessed us. And some of you are asking, how have you been able to balance between the business and, uh, 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 and the church? Well, the church is my calling. Okay, so uh, it's something that God has called me into and not something that I, I, I want to stop. All right. But I was able, it's very simple. I was able to just avoid a lot of distractions. Okay, if I'm not doing, if I'm not grinding, I'm in church. If I'm not in church, I'm at home. These are the tr triangular things I do. Anything outside this triangle, you won't find Pastor Dico there. Okay, so it's either I'm grinding or I'm in church or I am at home, okay? So I just cut off a lot of unnecessary things and then that helped me to focus and also uh, all the successes that are coming, helping me, helping my family, helping the church and all that, okay? So in case you are a pastor and you are feeling you can get distracted, no, there's no distraction. This can even help you to be able to fulfill your purpose the more, okay? So why was I able to achieve this? Exactly what I'm about to share today is because I discovered that